free of his trial. The verdict is in for the former Dothan SRO school resource officer who was accused in 2017 of having sexual relations with two students. In fact, it took 12 member jury a little more than two hours to reach his decision. WDHN's Aaron Dixon was in the courtroom when the verdict was read and he has this story. After nearly two hours of deliberation at the Houston County Courthouse, the jury has found Adrian Fulmar guilty on all counts. Fulmar was found guilty on one count of a school employee having sexual contact with a student and two counts of a school employee having sexual intercourse with a student. Fulmar was arrested in 2017 after a report was filed by the 17-year-old girl alleging that he forced her to perform oral sex. The second victim, a 14-year-old girl, says Fulmar was not only her SRO, but also one of her basketball coaches. Fulmar would drive her home from basketball practice once a week, and in one instance, he tried to kiss and touch her sexually. He communicated with these two girls through Snapchat, and one witness even said he asked her fellow teammates for their Snapchat. The defense was set to call their case to start today, the but they didn't call a witness and Fulmar didn't testify. So the case moved straight to closing arguments. During closing arguments, prosecutor John Talbot Jones told the jury, you are the voice of the two girls. Then at the end, he quoted Fulmar at the end of his Miranda interview in 2017, where Fulmar said, sorry, I messed up. Sorry for what I did. Sorry, I disgraced the department. Fulmar's attorney, Henry Pinnock, said Fulmar didn't admit anything and that neither victim brought anything to the table that proves that these events happened. Fulmar was employed with the Dothan City Schools at the old Dothan High School, which is now Dothan Preparatory Academy. Fulmar's sentencing hearing is set for November 14th at 9 a.m. The state also made a motion for Fulmar to be immediately taken into custody, but the judge denied it. In Houston County, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.